Hello, this is Manish Chaudhry, founder and CEO of Go eCart. I'm joined here by uh, with our esteemed client, Eagle Archery, Jennifer, who is one of the owners at Eagle Archery. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, um, it's been about uh, about a year since we've started working together, uh, and uh, this is your first IRC show. What uh, what are your thoughts on IRC show in general? Um, it's been great for me. I've learned a lot. The seminars have been, for the most part, relevant. New ideas, new, obviously, products. So it's been good. I would recommend it to anybody. Awesome. So please tell us a little bit about Eagle Archery. What, uh, what kind of business are you in? What, uh, tell us uh, uh, what you do. Okay, we, we have a brick and mortar store. We've been around um, for almost 40 years. We used to be uh, heavily into the wholesale business, but about 10 years ago we realized the internet was here to stay and we started our uh, online um, presence as Eagle Archery. So we, d we sell all over the world, um, both target archery and bow hunting archery equipment. And I think um, you recently uh, transitioned over to GoEcart, and uh, you were one of the uh, early adopters of our POS system, uh, which we are very proud, and we made some significant advances in our POS. And you're also taking advantage of our multi-site capabilities, which is also a recent uh, addition to the suite uh, uh, in the last several months. Uh, and um, you were, you've used a number of applications in the past, so you've gone through the replatforming pain and challenges, and the process several times. Can you tell our audience a little bit about this whole decision to replatform? How did you go about it and why did you select Go eCart? Um, well, first of all, I don't think replatforming is, is ever necessarily easy. Um, so my, my compliment to you guys is that um, I, I don't think it's about what problems you have necessarily during that process. It's more about how you respond to those problems. And I would also say, in just in general, um, that was one of the reasons that I chose Go eCart was um, after speaking to you. And I think it's you know very easy, obviously, in the sales process for to say, well, we're progressive, we're open-minded, we want to help you, we want to partner with you, we want, you know, obviously we are going to be partners, um, but it really comes out um, in the replatforming because unfortunately that's usually the most tenuous time, I think, of the relationship. So when you have problems and they are responded to, they're responded to quickly, I can tell when I call, no matter who answers, they ask me who's calling, I say Eagle Archery, they say, oh, hold on, let me find him. It's, it's you know, it's it sets you apart. Well, thank you, Jennifer, that we take great pride in uh, maintaining relationship with our customers and making sure that they're successful. Um, can you um, talk, talk to our audience a little bit about some of the major challenges that you were facing that uh, even prompted you to, um, to migrate? I mean, what were some of the specific problems that you were trying to solve uh, when you thought about replatforming? Um, one of the, I, I guess, biggest problems was we had issues on a regular basis with site search, it would depend on, um, you know, the operating system, not only the operating system, but the internet, Internet Explorer versus Firefox versus Mac. We could tell in Google Analytics that, you know, obviously there were some that were not working, people were calling. And I think the other biggest problem that we had was every time they would roll out um, a release, a new release, which was monthly, uh, within days we started noticing issues and not small issues um, so you know you think you have something fixed and everything's okay and then 30 days later you're back to square one or back to zero or and it, and it was frustrating I felt like we were constantly putting out fires instead of trying to advance the things no, I, we're doing. I think, uh, you know, you as a merchant, uh, it's really important for the merchants to be constantly making progress and trying new things rather than simply trying to put out fires. And, and as you mentioned, uh, site navigation was uh, uh, was highly undependable, browser-related issues. And I believe uh, you were also having uh, several inventory-related challenges. Oh, you know. For sure, yeah. I inventory-related challenges where inventory 
from a given channel was not being subtracted. So, you know, our inventory would show 24 when in reality we had two. Um, and then the other, one of the other biggest issues was cost of goods. Uh, it was not being calculated accurately. And uh, since you moved to GoEcart, uh, how has your inventory been? So far, so good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, let's hope we keep it that way. Uh, and um, uh, what, what other advice that uh, you've been to several great sessions, uh, what uh, advice you'd like to share with uh, the merchants out there? Uh, whatever platform they're using, uh, what, should be, what should they be thinking about when they are thinking about replatforming? Does service matter? Because there's so many you know, there's 600 vendors on this show floor, uh, and you can literally, you cannot walk, uh, you know, you know, 30 seconds without finding some other player that wants to offer the same <coughs> solution. You know, so tell us, give us, uh, you know, break it down for our audience uh, in terms of uh, the software, the service, there's, you know, uh, ability, depth, breadth, you know, does that matter? Well, I think one of the biggest things uh, in dealing with GoEcart for me has been um, your people and, and, and definitely yourself have educated me on so many different levels. I mean, you know, e-commerce, software, and, and the back end it, it being one, but also all the other things that, you know, people are using. I don't when I call and I say I'm experiencing this I don't feel like I'm educating your support team on what should be happening or what's going on in the you know in the marketplace they know what I'm talking about they say yes and that's not what it should be doing or yes that's what it should be doing and, that, and here's why you know when you're partners with somebody for me I want to be partners with somebody that brings a lot to the table I feel like you guys bring, I don't know what you do or how you train them or, you know, how they keep on top of all this stuff, but I really do feel like you're on top of what's going on out there. You're very open-minded to hear, you know, I want this, I want this to happen and here's why. And I, I think, honestly, I think it sets you apart. Well, thank you, Jennifer. I mean, we really, uh, um, you know, we appreciate the... Uh the support and confidence of our merchants and uh, we know that we don't have all the answers and our merchants are many times smarter than we are at least that's what we'd like to uh, you know keep our keep keep our, us and our staff thinking because uh, uh, otherwise we stop learning and uh, uh, there are many times you get tips and ideas from uh, it can originate from any corner and our merchants are dealing with uh, retail on a daily basis, uh, they're dealing with it firsthand as opposed to software engineers sitting behind a desk in an office. So we feel that uh, we owe it to them to listen and learn from them because they bring real-world perspective to our to our engineering team. And uh, well, last but not least, uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, you know what are some of the uh, plans that you have and what are some any any content that you've seen that uh, is thought provoking that uh, some other other merchants uh, uh, watching this video should be should be thinking about. Um, I've I've attended I attended seminars the first day on video. Um, I already knew that you know obviously we know that video is up and coming and. YouTube is, I think, in the top four of the biggest searches out there. So I think clearly we, you know, if you've been playing this game for a while, you know that's where it's at. But I, I got some great um, information in those. And better yet, I emailed support and said, I want to do this, I want to do that. And they said, this is how you do it. So that's awesome. Um, and I have seen some very impressive different plugins I guess you'd call them plugins um, one today was that I'll definitely be checking out was called um, price waiter where they have the ability to name their price on your site so uh, you know I, and in today's world of MAP pricing and uh, abandoned carts I think sometimes for the reason of pricing and it's it's very hard to track all that down and chase it down you know, I was excited about that. Well, thank you. I mean, uh, that's exciting news, and please keep those ideas coming because we want to hear what else is going on in the e-commerce world, latest and greatest, so that we can bring some of those tools and technologies to our to our clients and merchants. And uh, thank you, uh, uh, Jennifer, for making the trip all the way from Wisconsin and joining us yes, in beautiful Chicago, Good the windy city. Thank you.